Hi, my name is Jill Simpson and I am the co-developer of the Rethinking Aging workshop series. And the good news is if you are a resident of Ontario and if you live independently in your community and if you're 55 plus, through the federal government's New Horizons for Seniors program, this workshop series, this Rethinking Aging series, which was piloted in 2021, is being made available to you for free. Back in early 2020, uh, I was teaching classes, live classes. I'm a seniors fitness and healthy aging specialist. We locked down for COVID and I took the classes online and we, in order for, to have social interaction, I created some little coffee shops where people gathered for discussion, just as they would in the hallway after a class. It was really apparent and apparent very quickly that the terrible images we were seeing in, of seniors in the media in the early days of the pandemic and actually right through uh, were affecting people's mental health and ultimately their physical well-being. In response to Thrive Together created this series of workshops, the Rethinking Aging workshops, to counteract those incredibly negative images we were seeing. It turns out that only 7% of older adults end up in long-term care. But when I talk to people in my classes and in the coffee shops, people were under the assumption, I'd say 90% of them were under the assumption that that was an inevitability, that aging was this period of decline and loss. And that's just not the case. The Rethinking Aging workshops are look at growing old in a totally different way. We're looking at it in the light of brand new scientific evidence that dispels many of those negative myths of aging. And we're looking at aging as a, simply a new stage of life. A stage when you will be able to understand and put in perspective uh, things that happen uh, that 40 years ago, you wouldn't have had those insights. You wouldn't have had that ability to see the big picture. So the Rethinking Aging Workshop series looks at our society's stereotypes of aging. It looks at who gains by proliferating these stereotypes that are so negative. We're going to look at aging in cultures around the world where they do it totally differently to glean uh, valuable lessons that we can apply to our own lives. And ultimately, we're going to answer the question, what does it mean to live, to age, and to die well? And once you know that, then we're going to help you create a plan uh, to make that happen in your life. And I'm hoping at the end of this six-week series and at the end of discussion with people right across the province about aging, this, that you will never, ever look at aging in the same way. I do hope you'll join us and join others from right across Ontario in a series of discussions and exercises in the Rethinking Aging workshops that are so much needed right now in our culture. Thank you. I hope to see you there.